Hi Hannah, it's Friday. It's 9.30 right now and I just can't wait to go to sleep. Imagine I just end the video right now. Um, this video wasn't my plan originally. I was going to do something else, but I'm really not feeling like that right now. So I decided to change. The fatigue has really kicked in and my energy has flushed out like a toilet. <laughs> sorry if that's not an elegant um, um, analogy to your liking but you, you can imagine the action in your head at least um, oh, the business the business of um, adult world between us we have talked about this many many times our worries of feeling stuck my refusal to being a job that requires sitting in office from nine to five, feeling exhausted after work, uh, looking and looking back afterwards, it feels like I've done a lot of things, but nothing at all at the same time. At the end of the day, it's the endless working cycle of the adult world. Therefore, comes my desire of being in the job that always on the go. I will. It's always action time, the constant moving, traveling, heaving, and adrenaline pumping. Perhaps those would override the constant lingering of feeling sick or feeling stuck. But I realized that itself is a system that I have entered. Um, and what else would it be but another cycle? that I refused to go in at the first place. So I turned to myself tonight and asked, where is this fatigue from? Is it from the Prometheus-like cycle of endless to-do list at work? Maybe a bit, or perhaps is it from the tight schedule of teaching um, that keeps me on my toes, on my feet all the time? Perhaps a little bit as well. And what I'm not really feeling right now is this feeling, is this the feeling of stuck? I would say yes. I. I cannot lie to myself, I cannot cover this feeling. But at the same time, does this bring me enjoyment? I would absolutely say yes at the same time. The joy of teaching, the joy of accomplish, being able to achieve something I couldn't achieve the new skill I learned on the job. The feeling of stuck cannot take away the credit, cannot take away the joy of that. And this makes me realize that there's no such job, perhaps, that would not that would not bore me over time or such person who who always enjoy what they do all the time. Mm, I, you know, I, I envy as people who are able to do their childhood dream job. But at the same time, it makes it, I ponder if at some point they might, they might get tired of it. Yeah. And I guess in the it's it's like you said before, be curious, be open minded, and in the least expected way, I found enjoyment in the job that I did not expect myself to enjoy. And that's not my surrender to the system, but my ways of existing in a way that I chose to be within the system. I will see you on Monday, Hannah. Good night.